So, with your weights, you want to start planted here. Your dumbbells, you can use one or both, but your arms are straight up overhead. Pinkies are on the top of the bell. And with the straight arm, you're just going to pull the weight over your shoulders and over your head, using your lats to pull. If two, if two dumbbells are too hard, use one. As you guys finish that up, hold them high. We're gonna go right into that skull crusher or tricep extension. And then the final one, elbows hit the ground each time. We're gonna go floor press. Each one's timed, and we'll do some more core between sets. When you're done, we're gonna go right into toe touches. So it's pullover, triceps, push press, then toe touches. And that's gonna be our circuit. So let's go ahead and find your spots on the ground. Lay yourselves down. We're starting out with that pullover. One or two bells is perfect. Here we go. Three, two, and time. Go ahead. Arms come straight overhead. Pin your shoulder blades down. Arch your back. You want your back to be off the ground slightly and your shoulders to be pinned down. Breathe out as you rip that weight up. We're gonna switch to triceps in three, two, and one. Weights go right over the shoulders. Elbows are your benders. Keep going. Our third one is a floor press. We're starting that one in three, two, one. Elbows touch, weights touch, back and forth. At the bottom, the elbows, at the top, the weights. Final exercise is that toe touch in three, two, one. Weights down, feet up, and reach straight up. Five seconds. Two, one, and relax. All right, that was our first round. We're gonna cycle right back through that again. If that weight was too heavy, you guys can take some more time off or use one dumbbell instead. Let's get in that next set. Shake the arms out a little bit. Starting out with that pullover. Let's grab the weights. Three, two, and one. Pull all the way up. Try to keep your shoulders in place. Don't want them shrugged towards your neck when you go overhead. Try to get two more. And switch to triceps. Keep breathing out on the way up. Two more. And four press. Elbows should be lower than shoulders. Three, two, one, toe touch. Keep going guys, breathe out, make room to come all the way up. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, shake your arms out a little bit. We're doing great, we are halfway there. Each set, your arms get more and more fatigued. That's what we're looking for here. All right, five seconds. Starting out with that pullover in two, one. Lay on back down, pull all the way up. You should feel this behind your shoulders in your lats. Keep changing your angle and make sure you're getting it right. We're switching to those triceps in three, two, one. Don't forget to extend all the way up. Reach towards the ceiling with those weights at the top. Elbows stay over shoulders. Floor press in two, one. Hit it. Keep going. Pin the shoulder blades down, arch your back. Three, two, toe touch. Keep going guys, we're doing great. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one, and time. Third set down. We got one more to go. Shake your arms out a little bit. If you're feeling really tight in your shoulders, what I like to do is sit on my hands and then I turn my neck to the left and the right. Just kind of stretch it out a little bit. All right. We have our final set. Let's take 10 more seconds off before we get it in. All right, guys, three, two, 
And one, here we go, overhead, pull over. Three, two, one, triceps. Three, two, floor press. Come on, a few more. Three, two, one. Hit those toe touches. Almost there. Three, two, one. All right. We are done our second round. Relax yourself a little bit. Go ahead and get a quick drink. This next set, you guys can do three things. You can be kneeling, you can stand, or you can sit down in your chair. It's gonna be a curl to reverse fly. I'll go over it in just a second. Go ahead and get some water. All right, so I'll show you the traditional first. You guys can stay seated for this. I mean, stay standing for this or seated. Oh, the only difference is changing it so if there's a bench there, your butt's rested on the bench. If you're gonna go ahead and go standing, we're gonna start with bicep curls. Neutral grip here, rotate on the way up. Neutral, rotate. On our switch, butt back, not leaning forward. Shift your weight back, tap the bottom of your bells into a V, and row up and pinch into a fly. Weights go out, elbows go in. If you need to sit down on a chair, you can sit with your butt on the ledge. You can even do this kneeling down on your knees to alleviate any back pain. So let's go ahead. We're doing back and forth. We'll do another core exercise between our rounds. This is only three sets. So go for a heavier weight or go through quicker reps. You got 15 seconds. All right. We're starting out with those curls. I'm gonna stay on my knees. You guys can stand up, sit on the bench, it's up to you. Here we go in three, two, one. Neutral to rotate. Keep the shoulder blades down. Keep your elbows equal to your spine. So our posture is right here. Keep going, guys. Strong body. Keep it up. We're switching to reverse flies in three, two, and one. Butt back, elbows tucked in. Right there. As soon as you're done, we're gonna take a seat and do core. Two, one, go ahead and take a seat. This is a slow double-legged V-up. Both feet come up. If you can't do them, switch to single leg. Ready, set, and begin. Exhale and go slow. Your limbs, your arms, and your feet work together. Three, two, and one. All right. Set one, done. Take some time off. Hey, if those reverse flies don't feel right and they're just bothering you, switch to a regular row. But the biggest key with the reverse fly is you're pinching the elbows back when you get here. With a row, the weights and the elbows stay next to each other, straight up in a straight line. All right, let's go ahead and get into our second round. We're starting that off in three, two, and one. Begin. Rotate the top. Pinkies go towards the shoulders. Keep it up. 10 more seconds. We're switching to those reverse flies. Three, two, and one. You guys can sit, stand, or kneel. Butt back. Don't go too fast. Get a good tempo. Breathe out on that row. Three, two, and one. Let's hit those V-ups. Both feet or single. Go ahead and begin. 
Breathe out, come up. We're right there. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Shake these arms out a little more. We have one more set here, and that's it for the weight. Deep breath in, slow breath out. We got 15 more seconds off. We're gonna go back to those curls again. Keep breathing, keep rotating. Lean forward and dig in. Three, two, and one. Flies or rows. Come on, a few more, keep that back strong, keep it flat. Three, two, and one. Hit those V-ups. Ready, and begin. Three, two, and one. All right, that was our third and final set. Those weights can go off to the side, get a breather. All we have left is a finisher. And we'll keep it uh, the theme of the day. We'll go 27 seconds on for four sets. And then we're done for the day. All right, so catch your breath a little bit. Each one is gonna be a little bit different. The first set is gonna be an ISO hold. We're doing a regular plank. First half, right leg up. Second half, left leg up. It's straight behind you. So we're gonna be holding a high plank with one leg up and the other leg up. Once we're done those 27 seconds, total, take a quick breather. And we're gonna change up the variation to a side plank. All right, relax your arms a little bit. Let's keep the shoulder blades away from the neck. Get a good neutral position. Hips are higher than lower. If your belly sinks down, it's turned off. So keep your glutes on and keep your belly up. We're gonna start with that single leg one. Here we go, three, two, and one. High plank, bring one leg straight up in the air. I'll say switch for halfway. Shift your weight forward, point your thumbs towards each other, and squeeze them in. 13 and a half seconds. And switch. Keep holding. Three, two, and relax. Go ahead and lay down on your side this time. We're gonna be down on our elbow. Keep the shoulder away from the neck. Keep your hand in front of your elbow. And then we're gonna go side leg raise right here. If you can, you can bring your leg up or keep it down. Halfway through, we'll switch to the other side. Ready? And begin. Hold here. It's short, so if you wanna bring that leg up and challenge yourself, do it up. We will switch sides pretty soon. Three, two, and one. Roll over to the opposite side. Pick that leg back up again. Keep going, keep going. Two, and one. 